Welcome back everybody to another Warpath video. Today we're going to go over the new event, the Father's Day event. We're going to see how it stacks up to the other events. I'm sure you guys are wondering like, hmm, is it just some of the same old stuff? Is there some new stuff? Is it a better event? Is it worth your money? Is it worth your time and investment? If you guys are interested to find out more about this event, stay tuned to the video guys. All right, guys, the Father's Day event is upon us, and yeah, here we go again. Let's go down here to the Path of Glory, because this one is always pretty much the same. I have overlooked it. Of course, I can't look at every single day, but these right here pretty much match almost every single time, okay? Um, you can get your vinyls from there. Um, you can get a little bit of goodies, but it's not exceptional. Um, at the end of the five days, you can get up to 100 of these, which is pretty much you get two five-star units. That's exactly how this goes right here. Nothing special about that. Now let's jump into this one because this is where it's at right here. Okay, guys? So we have these and then the store. Now this is if you spend you know you can get a clock for spending a thousand gold um but you can also do many different things and we'll go over that in just a second to get um some of these pipes and then uh you unlock this um each time that your like your alliance builds up so you know it like gets up two thousand you can collect it you can collect it up to ten times this is very similar with the other one that's happened but i want to go to the store right now okay so i'm looking above me and uh, you guys will see it inside of the video because I'll put it up into the video. But the Mother's Day event, it had the coupons, it had the statutes, it had the uh, components. However, the components took two different ones, not just the single one. It had the ammunition, um, it had three hours, and it had money. But on this one, I noticed it has gold blueprint picks. So that is different than the last time. Very, very interesting that they decided to do more promoting of, of material through the two and then the statutes. Before, it was the statutes and the components were uh, both of them together. Here, the tickets are much easier now because it's just one thing, which is the clock. So I found that very, uh, very interesting or whatever. Let, now, let's go back to this. Let's see if I can see... Bear with me. Okay, so <clears throat> above me, you can see the universal coupon. Um, last time, it was 100 components, 200 ammunition, three three-hour rushes, and so forth and so on. This one gives more. Uh, no, it doesn't because it's down. It's only 50K military funds. Last time, it was 1,500K, and that was in the first tier or whatever. So that's interesting. They've actually went less and this one uh, with the overall goodies from. So like people who are kind of free to play that the Alliance is making a bunch of these points for them uh, to collect them, you're actually going to get less in this one. So the store has this one for, you know, obviously people who are p paying um, because you can get it that easy. Less for the people that are just in the Alliance um, getting the benefits for the Alliance or whatever. So definitely, definitely interesting. Now, let's go up here. This, as always, was a timeline before, almost kind of like a battle pass. I mean, you know, I'll call it kind of like a battle pass. But uh, it, you know, in the basic, you can unlock all of these yourself. But if you pay for the premium right here, you can get all these extra goodies inside of it. So the basic and then the premium. And it tells you right here on collection how you can get all these things like, you know, the officer missions, the Ravens, you know, airdrops, all that different stuff. Anyway, you play these vinyls and you move up on the progress. Now, let's go and let's see. Let's try to capture this. So I would say probably the biggest thing that I see the difference down here from the other one. And I was trying to find uh, the other one. Mother's Day, I did not have it. I had the April Fool's one. Um, they have the numbers up here on the April Fool's one on my YouTube. Um, it goes to 25, which this one goes to 25. 
It looks a little bit different, but yeah, it's 10,000 gold to break this open. Um, and the one thing that I notice is right about here, it's giving you these stopwatches um, instead of like material packs. So, or I should say resource packs, not material packs. Um, they have more resource packs there or whatever. But um, the, the biggest thing I think I noticed out of all this, because I added up the gold, it was the same. And a lot of this stuff is the same, is here at the end. And what I noticed is before last time, um, it just gave like a bunch of speeds and then uh, gave the 10 when you unlocked it, the 10 universal statues or whatever. This time it gives you one superior universal material. That's pretty expensive. That's pretty big because, you know, you need two or three, you know, gold materials to, to make a gold blueprint. So what I noticed, I guess the biggest thing out of this is that they're kind of, you know, making a stride towards uh, making parts because they've added this one and then they've added in, you know, the ability to, through this, get um, more material, I guess, for building them. So that's the biggest thing that I see. Everything else is pretty standard or whatever. So, um, yeah, let me know, you guys, what you think. We are going to be able to, for those who buy things, um, be able to buy these out and get them very fast. You know, the vinyls and stuff like that. Um, I'll try to get uh, what all is involved in the, the Greatest Hero. But this is all standard as it was before every single event. With this one still having, like last time, the three gold blueprint picks. And we did find out that that is not a guaranteed uh, plus part. And you do not get to pick the unit. So you don't get to pick, like, martyrs and then the heavy and stuff like that. It's kind of, like, more general of a pick. Um, so it's not as specific as they were early, early in the game when you only got one of them. And it was very, very specific um, on what you got so yeah if you buy out 3500 gold a day in the store you get to unlock these tiers which is pretty standard anyway hope you enjoyed the video guys till next time peace